Hello folks, Marco here. If you like horror movies, you're gonna love this. Almost a month ago I was shopping for a new bass because I'm recording my own stuff and I don't like to mess around with VST basses. So I went on Toman and found this Cort B4 Plus AS RM AB. And this instrument has very nice features like a Swampesh body, roasted maple fretboard, 24 frets, Bartolini MK1 pickups, Mark Bass preamp, Ipshot machine head and so on. I bought it new for $4.99 and this is what it came. Let's start from the back of the neck. Here we have uh, a neck without a finish. This is something sticky on the edge of the fretboard, I don't know what it is. This looks like someone sanded the back of the neck and forgot to finish it. Here we have tool marks, even on the fretboard, behind the nut. That, by the way, this is a very roasted maple. Again, tool marks everywhere. Other tool marks. Yeah. Tool marks, again. This looks like they had some problem with some frets. I think that there were some wood chips and they tried to fill them, but very poorly. This is the very well sanded off panga panga wood of the neck. And here they took out a big chunk of wood, I don't know how, but still, one of the most damaged instruments I ever encountered in my life. After this tragedy I was pretty disappointed because, I mean, I trusted Court, but shit happens, everybody can make mistakes and so I asked Toman if they could change the instrument and send me another one. And that's how the second bass looked like. Here we go with the second one. Here we have the headstock with a lot of dust particles and other dirt that were cut in the finishing process I guess. They managed to fuck up also the painting in this one. Again, tool marks on the nut, on the fretboard. Here we have the back of the neck. Even I know that you shouldn't go sanding against the grain. This is obviously rough and unfinished wood. Even on, on the volute there are some chips and uh, some dirt on the frets that it's nothing compared to the other issues, but still. Again, a very nice neck joint with sanding against the grain again. Obviously, I'm quite disappointed. I trusted Court and uh, this is obviously a QC problem and I hope they addressed it and solve it as soon as possible. I was a little bit disappointed also about the Toman customer services because they told me, well, these are aesthetic issues. If the instrument can make some sound, do you want to keep it? And uh, yes, the instrument can make some sounds, but I can play it. I mean, I can play it, but there are some functional issues here, not just aesthetic, but uh, said uh, nope thanks. Anyway I don't have anything against court I hope that they'll sort out this problem and uh, they acknowledge it because maybe they don't know it even exists. Please court check your QC because this is not good.